Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the new NYX Full Throttle Lipstick. And that's a good name for it because these are so pigmented. They just might be the most pigmented lipsticks that I've ever tried. Once you put these on, they are going nowhere. They are matte and there are 12 shades, but Ulta only carries six of those shades. And maybe if, you know, they sell well, maybe eventually they'll carry all 12. I don't know. But they are $7 a piece plus tax at Ulta. And um, so, yeah, let's, let me show you what I purchased. So I bought one to see how I felt about it and really enjoyed it and went back and got two more shades. I started off with this one. This is called Con Artist, and before I show this to you, <laughs> I just want to mention that after you use this, make sure you twist it all the way down, because if you leave even just a little tiny bit sticking up above the top of the tube, when you put the cap on, you're going to wreck it, because <laughs> that's what happened to me. So... This is not what it's supposed to look like. This is this is mashed. Uh, but I can show you one that isn't mashed in a minute. But this is um, Con Artist. And this is a deep wine red. And yeah, these are unbelievably pigmented. You need so little product on this. I'm just going to barely touch this to my hand. And look how deep that is. And I just put like practically no pressure whatsoever. So a little bit goes a long way with this. So yeah, swivel it all the way down as far as it will go before you put the cap on. Because these are designed to look and act a certain way. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Actually, why don't I show you this other shade first so I can explain what I'm talking about. This next one is called Firestorm, and this is a bright red with a magenta undertone. Okay, so the idea with this is, see how it has an unusual shape to it? The idea is, you're supposed to take, you're supposed to take, there's a flat edge right there. Okay, I don't know how well you'd be able to see that, but there's a flat edge and you're supposed to use that flat edge as a liner and then you know change the position of your hand and fill in the rest of your lips so it's kind of like a built-in liner but this is fine the first couple times you use the lipstick but I don't think it's gonna keep that edge so I wouldn't plan on you know being able to always do that but the thing is, this is such a pigmented lipstick that if you just start by going right along the edge of your lip, even when that line is gone, I think it'll still work um, as a liner at the same time. But anyways, yeah, that's, that's Firestorm, and like I said, it's a bright red with a magenta undertone. Let me swatch that for you. I cannot get over the pigmentation on these. So there's Firestorm. And then the one that I'm wearing is called Trickster. And this is a bright violet mauve. And even though I'm wearing it, might as well swatch it. So, the thing is with these, or what I did with these, is when I bought my first one, Con Artist, I had it on all day, and as I drank and ate things, it didn't really come off so much as it faded and it left a stain behind, and what I did was I took one of those Milani Moisture Lock lip treatments that I showed you, and I just dabbed 
a little bit of that on top of the lipstick and it was so pretty uh, because there was so much pigmentation left behind that it was almost like I had reapplied my lipstick but with a glossy finish uh, because the the um, lip treatment sort of brought it like back to life and it saturated the pigment all over again except for of course it was a shiny finish because of the gloss and you would think that it would have gone all outside the lines and bled and everything and it didn't so my advice is <laughs> if you want to wear one of these but you have to you know go out for the day and you don't want to worry about how easily you'll be able to reapply it after you have lunch or dinner or whatever. Just keep some um, clear gloss in your purse. And that way when it fades out, you can sort of bring it back to life with some clear gloss. And, you know, it's not going to bleed. It's, it's going to look fine. But I really like these and I kind of wasn't expecting to. A couple of weeks ago, I think it was now, I had walked into an Ulta and saw just tons of new NYX products on display everywhere. And I was like, oh, geez, you know, what? how do I decide? What do I get? So I ended up just getting like one of each thing that they had. And I don't know, I just wasn't getting the feeling that I was going to like these. But I was really surprised that I wanted to go back and get two more. Um, so yeah, I, I really do like these and I would definitely give them a big thumbs up and I hope that at some point they bring the other six shades to Ulta that NYX has of these because there's a couple that are not carried in stores that I really, really like the colors so I would definitely get them. And uh, yeah, so if you have any questions or anything about these, let me know, but yeah, this is a uh, an all day lipstick. This is it's just gonna last you all day whether you eat or drink or anything, and it's completely matte. It will not transfer. Um, so yeah, I can't think of anything else that that I uh, need to say about these. So have a nice weekend, and I'll probably see you Monday. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Bye.